Here we go, folks. This is another wonderful quick video, sauce mornay. What you need for your lasagna or for your macaroni and cheese or just because you want to rub it all over your body. It's delicious. Sauce mornay, stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to make it. Very simple. Okay, friends. This is a very simple and yet very important sauce that I use a lot. It's a mornay sauce. It's a bechamel with cheese. Very simple to make. That's what you'll make when you make a lasagna. That is what you make when you make a macaroni and cheese, a version of it, changing cheeses uh, back and forth, but that's the sauce. It's very simple to make, okay? So we have a, so if, uh, one of the basic of French cuisine. Guess what? Butter. <laughs> this is the, the beginning of it. We have a little butter, and you know, you can put a lot of butter. Don't worry about butter. Butter is our friend, okay? More, <laughs> more butter you put in, and better off you'll be. Trust me about this one, okay? Anybody who doesn't like butter, I don't trust them. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, this is gonna be good. So, depends what it is you're doing, you can or you cannot put, or you shouldn't be putting onion. It all depends what you're gonna do with it. Sometimes I make a morning sauce and I put on top of a cheese souffle, and I don't want any lumps that I created with the onion the little lump of the onion, so I don't put it in. If you make a lasagna, if you make a macaroni and cheese, you like the onion, and by all means put the onion. But you don't have to put it in if you don't like it, and I do it now, you see? Then it's easy. I saute my onion right in there, in the butter. So I do it in two motions, instead of making a roux, making it more complicated. This is the easy way to cook. You see, I like to make things more simple. I like to simplify things, and then you guys can make beautiful food at home, not complicated. It doesn't have to be complicated. We got flour, same amount of flour, then you have the same amount of, uh, of, uh, of butter. And uh, in the recipe, then I will print below the recipe. By the way, some of you are always asking me, where's the recipe, where's the recipe? Right below. If you click on the more, up after the description, you click the button more, you have all the links of all the recipes, okay? And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna saute the onion for a minute. We don't wanna caramelize them, it's a white sauce, okay? So we just want them to be translucent. That means they're, they are releasing, they're releasing their sugar, but they do, we do not caramelize that sugar, okay? We put the amount of flour right there, right? And we have the flour, now we're gonna create a roux, okay? And now that we have a roux, we're gonna cook it for a minute. We don't wanna cook it very long. Remember, this is a white sauce, friends, all right? So again, that's what you see here. By looking at the, uh, the onion, it looks like it's lumpy, but it's not lumpy. This is just the onion. Okay? You don't want to put onion in there? Don't put onion in there. I like to put onion. All right? And then you're going to put uh, uh, the milk. This is hot milk. You don't have to put hot milk. You can put cold milk. It just takes longer with the hot milk. That's all. I mean, with the cold milk. That's all. And this is very simple. You see? We're going to thicken this. And you'll see it's going to thicken right away. See, look. All right, so then you add more milk. It's really that simple. You see, how much milk you put in until you get it the consistency that you want. And you'll see in a minute, you're gonna understand it, what I'm talking about. You're gonna be able to see it. You see? You see right there? The whisk is easier. And you see it's getting thick again, right? See, getting thick again. And that's okay. And we add the milk. And hot milk makes us go faster, but cold milk will work just as fine. Okay? So if you don't want to dirty another pot, I don't really care because I got stuffed and can clean my pots. When I click at home, I'm a little more uh, careful about how many pots I dirty. <laughs> you see, and here we're gonna cook it, friends. You wanna cook this for a little while, okay? It's still a little too thick, so I'll put the milk in there, you see, until we get it to the thickness that we want. Now you can put goat cheese in there. You can put brie cheese in it. For those of you that have made my macaroni and cheese, this is it. This is it, friends. You just put the cheese that you want in here. As long as you put goat cheese, not the, uh, the cheese that comes in the green boxes. I'm not going to say it, but you know what I'm talking about. Crap. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We love it. We're looking good. We're looking good. We're going to put salt and pepper. And you're supposed to put white pepper in there, friends. But I don't like white pepper, so I'm gonna put black pepper. Is that okay with you? But uh, you should put white pepper, okay? So you don't have the black pieces in there. But look, 
Okay, I'm not doing a food competition. I'm cooking for you guys. Okay, and and my customer don't mind. I know you guys not gonna mind either. You're just as cool. It's the recipe police then don't like it. But you know what? They're not here, so we're gonna have a good time. Look, look, it's starting to get there, friends. You see? So you see, if you use this too thick, put on more milk. If it's too thin. Watch it, because you put too, that's, uh, put too much milk, so you have to be careful. So that's why you see me putting the milk a little bit at a time. Little bit at a time, okay? Don't go out there and putting too much milk. You see, look, it's looking beautiful, isn't it? All right, so now we're going to cook this. This needs to cook for a little while. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this right here. I can put it right here, right? Right there. Now, I like a wooden spoon here because I like to scrape the bottom of the pot. I don't want it to stick. And, uh, and this helped me with the bottom of the pot, you see. I want to make sure there's no sticking in the bottom of my pot. You see that you can see the onion right here. And I don't mind for macaroni and cheese. I don't mind the onion at all. I don't mind if I'm making a lasagna. I just mind when I want to make a very smooth sauce, okay. So now I got some uh, uh, gruyere in here. Put whatever cheese you want. You want to put gouda? Put gouda in there. I got uh, cheddar, okay, and you can put a parmesan or say, Reggiano parmesan, also, and it'll be delicious in there. Pecorino Romano, put whatever cheese you want, friends. Put whatever cheese you want in here. This right there, let the cheese melt. Oh, a touch of nutmeg, fresh nutmeg. There you go, very little nutmeg, eh? You don't need a lot, just a little bit of nutmeg. You don't have nutmeg, don't put it in, don't worry. All right, we're gonna let that melt. And this right there, folks, make a fabulous macaroni and cheese, make an amazing lasagna. Just a little bit more. And this right there is a beautiful cheese sauce. You guys are gonna love, so like I said, you don't want the onion in there? Don't put them in there. And let it cook for about 10, 15 minutes. And right there, friends, you have a beautiful Mornay sauce. Look at this, look at this. Look how beautiful that is. Another thing that I like to do sometimes when I make a nice Mornay sauce is to add a couple of egg yolks. That's gonna make the sauce richer. Uh, and uh, the secret is to mix them up really quick. See, otherwise you'll have scrambled eggs. Kinda like you're making a carbonara. You're putting raw eggs and you see, look. Right there, beautiful, that's it. You don't have to do that, just an extra. Makes it add a really, really beautiful richness to it. Here we go. You see? Right there, beautiful. That's another beautiful sauce you can use for your macaroni and cheese, for your lasagna, for so many different, so many different preparations. It's wonderful. Make it, add the eggs, don't add the eggs, don't worry about it. No matter what, it's gonna be wonderful. I hope you like the video. If you like it, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to ring the bell so you get a notification every time we put up a new video. We'll see you next week.